This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening, 3rd of December. I'm James Spann. Very complex forecast ahead. We warm up. We turn cold. Along the way, we might see some strong storms, some heavy rain, maybe some flash flooding potential. Maybe some ice for parts of Alabama. Maybe brutally cold air next week. Just a lot of things on the plate here. So let's dive in head first. Hope the water is not shallow. This is the water vapor satellite view across the nation. Big uh, disturbance up in the uh, northwest helping to pull down some really cold air. And some of the latest data suggesting that might just rush all the way down here by the middle of next week. So uh, look out. We'll kind of see it seeping in here temporarily uh, Friday and Saturday. Here's a peak of the radar at 237. Uh, we got rain uh, along US 80, Selma, Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika. Uh, the showers are pretty hard to find over the northern half of the state. Just some patchy drizzle up this way, kind of cloudy and still foggy in spots. Uh, low 60s over North Alabama, mid 70s down south. Look at Mobile at 74, and we're going to see numbers like that by uh, Thursday. We'll probably see uh, low 70s tomorrow. And a chance we see mid-70s Thursday. That'll be very close to record levels for early December. But, oh, yes, you can see what's happening back in Montana in the Dakotas. Wyoming, brutally cold air dropping south. Now, this is the middle of the day. They're kind of hovering around zero at Cutbank, Montana. That's not good. And uh, that cold air is just going to slowly come south, spreading out as it goes. And we'll catch a shallow layer of that by Friday evening here. Uh, now with the cold comes the snow. Winter storm warnings in effect for a large part of the northern and western U.S. And closer to home, we note winter storm watches now for much of Oklahoma, parts of Arkansas, and Texas around Wichita Falls. As uh, icing conditions will likely develop southward later this week on Thursday and Friday. In advance of the Arctic push, look at this now. This is the day three convective outlook for Thursday. We have the low end 5% severe weather possibilities for the northern half of Alabama. This is not a formal risk, just something to watch. A lot of uh, balls we're juggling here, but one of the things we'll be looking for is uh, potential for strong storms on Thursday. Uh, the instability values ramp up to about 1,200 joules with highs up in the mid-70s. Uh, <coughs> on the surface... The vertical velocities and some of the other parameters don't look overwhelming for severe weather, but just something to watch. And no doubt it's going to rain a lot. This is the rain for the next seven days. This carries us through the middle part of next week. And you can see the bullseye is five inches for cities like Tupelo, Muscle Shoals, Nashville. Uh, down this way, it's suggesting rain amounts of about two to four inches over the next seven days. And again, along the way, there could be some flooding issues, so just something to think about as well. There's a lot to think about here. Let's go through the day-by-day -day charts. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Troughing developing in the west and down below that. We've got a surface low south of Denver. Uh, big snows are likely for Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. Now, the surface low is located uh, uh, between Des Moines and Chicago with the uh, trailing Arctic front. And around here tomorrow will be a lot like today, cloudy, kind of drizzly, maybe a shower somewhere. Not a lot of rain, but uh, uh, not a lot of sun either. And we do think we'll reach the low 70s tomorrow. This is Thursday, and here comes your icing problems beginning over parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and northwest Arkansas. Uh, and that cold air. And down here, in advance of the Arctic front, we'll forecast a chance of showers and storms. This is the uh, NAM at midday Thursday. Doesn't show a lot, but we figured there should be an increase in the number of showers and storms Thursday afternoon. And again, uh, uh, the GFS is printing a high of 77. The NAM is printing a high of 76. And again, the instability values ramp up to over 1,000 joules per kilogram. And uh, with the approaching front, that could kick off a few strong storms. Again, I don't think it'll be a big severe weather problem, but just something to be aware of. One of the items on the weather smorgasbord. All right, this is Friday at 12 noon. And uh, this looks very messy for Dallas, Little Rock, Memphis. Uh, it just could be an icy mess for those cities. So if you're traveling in that way, in that area be aware of that during the day friday and around here just wet and temperatures are just going to be all over the board all right this is friday at noon it's coming off the european and remember the models are not going to really have the resolution to handle the shallow cold air i think the cold air will be farther south than this but at 12 noon on friday it's got muscle shoals at 45 
Tuscaloosa, it's 76. How about that for a 31 degree swing along US 43 over a not a long distance? And you know exactly where that boundary sets up. We don't know. It'll be somewhere probably nearing Interstate 59 at noon on Friday. But I really think where we are, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, we start off the day very mild and muggy and warm. We'll be in the 60s. But up in the Shoals, I think they'll be in the 30s up there uh, Friday morning. So, uh, and again, the cold air will advance to the south, and I still think the right thing to do for our part of the state is start with a mild morning Friday and then indicate falling temperatures by mid to late afternoon. We fall in the 40s. Now, this is uh, Friday night at midnight, or Saturday at 12 a.m., everybody call it, and, and everybody gets in the cold air, and we note Muscle Shoals is sitting at 32, and I think it's going to be colder than that. Remember, the models just aren't going to handle this well. And the problem is we've still got overrunning rain going on here, and that should open up the door for some icing over that northwestern part of Alabama. And I think that's a very real possibility for Friday night. Uh, will there be enough to cause any problems? We don't know that yet, but I think there could be some driving problems for sure on bridges and overpasses. So uh, Friday night, uh, the chance of some icing, I think, for uh, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Tuscumbia, Sheffield, Russellville. And maybe down into to Hamilton and Hackleburg. And, and I can't rule out the chance of there being some icing problems down into Lamar County at Vernon uh, in Millport S uh, and, and, you know, Sullivan places like that. So just be aware, northwest Alabama Friday night could be a little icy. Now, this is Saturday, middle of the day. We're still, you know, wet here. I mean, it's just, just going to be cloudy and, and wet with occasional rain. Uh, Saturday will be a cold day. We're not going to get out of the 40s. And up in northwest Alabama, they probably won't get out of the 30s with rain falling. And again, you can see potential for icing during the middle of the day Saturday uh, for cities like Austin, Texas, Shreveport, Louisiana, Greenville, Mississippi. So again, just be aware of that if you're traveling. Now, this is Sunday, and we've got a new storm forming back in New Mexico, and, and the, the, the Arctic boundary begins to lift back to the north. That's going to create another temperature nightmare on Sunday after that cold, wet day Saturday. This is Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, and the warm air tries to surge back to the north. And you can see what a complicated temperature forecast this is. We've got Arctic air still over north Mississippi. We've got the wedge, cold air damming, extending into northeast Alabama. You've got 40s in places like uh, you know, Fort Payne and, and Galesville and Leesburg and Center. But Tuscaloosa's got 64 and Birmingham's got 62. So, you know, using a one number forecast ain't going to cut it on Friday and Sunday. The, these two days will be very challenging for temperatures. Uh, now, let's go to uh, Monday. And we're still wet. Uh, rain likely on Monday. Uh, another surge of Arctic air is coming down the pike, but that should just be a, a rainy day with temperatures probably in the 50s. And then Tuesday, as the rain moves out, cold air moves in. Uh, the GFS is suggesting there's a chance the rain could change to snow on Tuesday. Wouldn't be a lot uh, if this is right. Uh, windy, cold. Uh, temperatures maybe not getting out of the 30s. In fact, you can see the 32-degree line is over Birmingham. We might have a hard time getting above freezing if this is right. Uh, and we'll take a look at the Tuesday temperatures at midday. And this is off the European. It agrees with the GFS. It's got 34 at midday in Birmingham. So the more we look at this, we're thinking on Tuesday we could be in the 30s all day with a chance of maybe some uh, light snow on the backside of the departing storm, probably not, not enough to cause any problems. And then this is Wednesday morning. Uh, the European has us down to 22 in Birmingham, 17 up in the Shoals. And uh, look at this. This is a meteogram coming off the GFS. And if you look at that data there, you look at the second chart from the top. Those are max and min temperatures. It's got us down to 12.8 degrees Wednesday morning. That sounds a little excessive. We, we don't get that cold that often unless there's snow on the ground, but... It just looks very, very cold now for the middle part of next week. Fair warning. All right, let's jump out there toward the end of the forecast. December 19th, six days away from Christmas. Yeah. Uh, well, that doesn't look too cold. A short wave north and west of the state, and that looks like maybe showers in here, but uh, the, the con country would be warmer if this happens to be correct, and that's a big if. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.